Hi there and welcome to my channel. This makeup tutorial is all about how to do makeup for the stage. So the first half will be for everybody, for men and women, and then I will branch off into men and then I will do the ladies look after. So please continue watching and I really hope this helps you out when you are about to hit the stage for your performance. Thanks again for watching. So I'm starting off by using Graftobian Cream Foundations in a shade that is two shades darker than what I normally am. And I'm using this with a beauty blender, but you can use any sponge or another foundation brush if you wish. I am applying a shade that is so much darker than my skin because when I'm on a stage, the harsh lights tend to wash people out. And so to bring back that natural color to our skin, we use a shade of makeup that is probably not appropriate in the daytime, but it looks great on stage. I'm making sure that I'm applying this foundation on my neck as well as my ears because that is also part of the face so you just want to make sure that it all blends together and looks nice and natural. So I'm just going to conceal my under eyes here with the Photogenic Concealer by NYX. I'm applying that with the wand that it comes with, but I'm also going to blend it out using my fingers. Make sure that you really blend this out too because we don't want any harsh lines or prominent circles underneath our eyes. This is going to look really nice on stage because it will give that highlight which will make the contouring, which we'll do next, stand out a lot better. Now that our foundation and concealer are done, I'm going to set this makeup with a powder. This is Studio Fix by MAC, and it is also in a shade two shades darker than what I am. Just going in with a big fluffy brush and patting over what I just did. This will help seal in the makeup and provide a little bit extra coverage and just making sure the makeup won't move. Here I'm using Blot Powder in Deep Dark by MAC, and I'm using this as a contour powder. So I'm gonna start here on my cheekbone and I'm going to bring the product in towards my face. Contouring is essential especially when you're on a stage because when you're on stage it tends to wash you out and you won't get any natural defined lines so using a contour powder is really key to make your features look beautiful on stage. I'm also going to go around the temples and underneath the jawline to make those features stand out as well. Going in to do your brows, I am using a good brow pencil or you can also use a brow powder or an eyeshadow that is the same color as the root of your hair. And I am just filling them in using really nice, soft, fine lines, kind of like how hair would naturally grow. And I think this is essential for everybody because the hairs on your brow are quite fine and they don't always stand out on stage. If you have naturally very dark brows, you probably do not have to do this. So for the guys, I like to use the same contour shade as we did on our cheeks as well as on our eyes. So I'm just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and going back and forth in the crease, which is where the skin naturally folds. And I'm going to do windshield wiper-like motions to get that product in there. Using a brown eye pencil, this one is Teddy by MAC, I am going in to line the top part of my eyelid. 
very softly as close to the lash line as possible and we want to create a line but we're going to soften it out by using our fingers so I'm just going to smudge it out a little bit here we don't want a harsh line because that can be very obvious and for males on the stage it's not always appropriate so just smudging it out with your finger after you've applied it makes it look a lot more natural We're also going to do the exact same thing on the bottom, so just going really close to the lash line and sponging out with our fingers. So to finish it off, I am using a lipstick that's about a shade darker than what my lips are, and I'm just applying this with my finger. So applying this with my finger will just give it a more natural look as opposed to it being obvious that you're wearing lipstick. And there you go, makeup for the male performer is complete. If you would like to continue watching to go to the female part, it is coming up right now. For female, we use a heavier eye look, so I'm applying a primer. This is 24 hour eye base by MAC, just using my fingers. That will just help make the eyeshadow stick. Next, I'm going in with the white eyeshadow. This is by MAC, it's called Gesso, and I'm using a stiff brush to apply that to my lid as well as my brow bone. So on the stage, we really want that contrast to be prominent between your lid and your eyebrow and your crease. So I'm using a really light shade and then we'll go in with a nice dark shade. The dark brown that I'm using here is called Charcoal Brown, also by MAC, and I'm using this on my fluffy blending brush, and I'm going into my crease using back and forth motions, or windshield wiper motions. And this is going to make a really nice contrast between that light color we just put down. To make my lower lash line stand out as well, I am using the same color on a smaller brush and buffing it out underneath my lower lashes. For eyeliner, I like to make a little wing whenever I am on stage, so I am using this eyeliner pen here and it's really easy to make a wing with this guy because the felt pen is so sharp and pointy. So I'm just going to create a really nice little wing as well as fill in the rest of my lid liner as well. Now that your liner is complete, I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes and put some mascara on. The blushes I'm using are Breath of Plum and Breezy by MAC, so they're nice, deeper, pinky purple tones. The deeper they are, the more they're going to stand out, but you also want it to make sure that it looks like you on stage. So don't go for anything too crazy bright or dark, but make sure it is darker than what you would feel comfortable wearing in person. I'm applying this long wear lipstick, it's a pinky shade. If you are unsure of what to wear for your lips, always ask your director. I've popped some lashes on here to finish the entire look, but there you go, your stage makeup tutorial is complete and I really hope you enjoyed it and good luck on your performance.